Hey everybody! Welcome to class. We're gonna do jazz today. I'm Miss Jennifer and I'm here at Nan School of Dance today all by myself but you're here with me. You're here to do jazz with me today and I'm so excited. It's our first time doing this so bear with me if there are any technical difficulties. I've got all my places marked out on the floor where you can see me and you can also see me in the mirror up there. Um, I'm going to do things facing away from the camera so that you can go the same way I go. All right, so um, we will start with a warm up just like we always do for jazz. And then we're going to move into a little bit of stretching. Then we'll do some center combination work and work on basic things that everybody needs to know no matter how old you are in jazz these are the things that in every jazz class in the whole wide world you are going to be doing so um, we'll nail those basics down today after we warm and stretch just a little bit and I hope some more people join us I'm excited to be with you guys today and um, get to dance with you even if you're not in my class every week this is exciting for us to do it together all right, I'm gonna get some music started and you just follow along with me. Like I said, I'm gonna face away from the camera so you can do the same arm and the same direction that I go. You just be my copycat. All right, let me get the music. Okay. 
and hit another song. We don't need a little ballet song. Let me see about this one. Good. All right, now we got some more music. Is everybody dancing? Yay! All right, here we go. Bigger kicks. So you're gonna put it behind you, lunging, and then kick it really high. We're gonna do eight on the right, eight on the left. Back, up, back, up, back.
keep it going. Center. Take a breath. Exhale. As you go down. Take a breath. Anybody have any concerns about seeing what I'm doing or hearing the music or hearing my voice? Everything going all right? I see you on here. Thanks for watching, you guys. All right, we're going to do some basics for um, jazz. So the things I think of when we talk about that are kickball changes. You know those. And pivots. We all know those. Jazz squares. Mm -hmm. Lindy's. Yes. And pot of -rays. Okay, so that's probably the trickiest thing that we are going to do. And we're going to go over those things just to get your footwork right. And then we're going to stick them all together. Thank you, Lauren, for telling me that it's going good and that you can hear me and see me. <laughs> that is so good for the first time. I like to hear that. Okay, so uh, kickball changes piece of cake. So you're going to, let's practice our right leg first, a little kick, then we put that foot behind us and we have to make two steps. Kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change. Let's do opposite arms, pushing in front, pushing in front. Yes, tricky, tricky, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change. All right, now, if we switch to the other leg, remember that's the one that's going to have to go in the back. The kicker Goes in the back. Kick, back, step. Kick, ball, change. That's the ball of my foot. And then I change feet. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Kick. Are you pointing your toe on that kick? The answer is yes. Because if you don't, you have a floppy fish out there and it looks yucky. So you got to squeeze your ankle. Point your foot. Ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Kick. Ball change, here's my opposite arms. Kick, ball change, kick, ball change. Opposite, opposite, opposite. You got it now? Awesome. Okay. The next thing that I was thinking about going over are Lindy's because we need to get our feet right on those, making sure that we're rocking back on the ball change with the correct foot after. The chasse, it's like a chasse sideways. So, we're gonna go this way. I'm gonna move up a little bit so you can see me. You're gonna do step, switch, step, then ball, change. Step, switch, step, switch, step. I gotta put this one in the back. Ball, change, step, switch, step, ball, change. So think of gallop and step, ball, change, gallop and step, ball, change, gallop and step, Ball, change, gallop, back, step. All right, let's change our arms. Lindy, back, step, side to side, back, step, side to side. Get those arms and legs going to 
together. Going together. Going together. Good. Okay, now let's do jazz squares. Everybody knows those. Let's start with our right foot. We're going to make it go around first. So we're stepping four steps on the corners of a square. Around, back, side, front. Around, back, side, front. Around, back, side, front. Around, back, side, front. Good. Okay, let's try the left around. So this one's going to step on the corner of the square over here. Then we go back, side, front, around, step back, step side, step front. This switches feet for every step. Switches feet for every step. Round, back, side, front. Now, if you're uh, an advanced student, you can get some arms in there. We can do all kinds of arms on jazz squares. All right? Pivots. We talked about pivots. Let's do one, two, glue, turnaround. All right? That's what I do in my class. So we take three steps. I'm going to start with my right foot. Right, left, right. And then my feet are glued to the floor, but they can, they can swivel. I can leave my toes where they are and spin my body around. So now that I'm coming toward you, your nose has to point away from me. You're walking away from your screen now. Okay? Take three steps. Start with your back foot. That's the right. Right, left, right. And then my feet are glued on the floor. And then I can just turn my body this direction. Okay, let's do that again. I'm going to count. One, two, glue. Turn around. One, two, glue. Turn around. One, two, glue. Turn your body. One, two, glue. Turn your body. One, two, glue. Turn your body. Yes, yes, that's the last one. Okay, how do we write? we got to squeeze that in here. I'm looking at the clock. I can't believe it's tick, tick, ticking away. So, for pot de ray, it has three steps every single time. The first one, we're going to start with our right foot, crosses the other leg. Then you step apart. Then you use the first one you stepped on to lunge. Everybody thinks I always say lunch. Like, lunch, you're eating a sandwich? No. Lunge with a G on the end, soft G. All right, here we go. So I'm stepping across, cross, apart, lunge this way. All right, now I'm going to use my left because we alternate every time. Cross, apart, lunge. Cross, apart, lunge. Cross, apart, lunge. Cross, apart, lunge. Good. Cross, apart, lunge. Cross apart, lunge. This is the tricky one. Cross apart, lunge. Keep trying. Cross apart, lunge. Cross apart, lunge. Cross apart, lunge. All right, to check yourself when you're practicing these, make double sure that your feet are always apart from each other. Left goes to the left, and right goes to the right. Left goes to the left. And right goes to the right. So if you're the teacher for just a minute, what if I do this? Watch my feet. Watch my feet. What if I go, is that right? That's my left foot and it's going toward the right. Can I do that? No, that's a big if you're the teacher. Okay? So you have to be sure when you're practicing. Your legs are open on that third step, okay? Last little tidbit is we're going to shift to another class. I'm going to start a different live sort of record because it'll be a different discipline. So, all together, let's do kick, ball, change, kick, ball, change. Then Lindy, back, step, Lindy, back, step. Jazz squares are next. Jazz square, jazz square. Then, pot to be right. Back, side, lunge, and back, side, lunge. I forgot the pivots, but that's okay. Those are easy. You can practice those. Okay, you ready? Kick, ball, change. Last thing. You got it. Stick it all together. Five, six, seven, we go. Kick, ball, change. Kick, ball, change. Lindy, back, step, lindy. Jazz squares are now around. Back, side, front, around. Back, side, front, and pot to be all right, you guys can use all those steps 
and make up your own dance, and I have a surprise for you. We're going to start a private closed group page by invitation only on Facebook, and I want you guys to be able to post privately your choreography and ideas, and if you want to, if you want a teacher to look at your pirouettes that you've been practicing and see where some work needs to happen so you can get better and better and progress in your dance learning, then that's going to be a place where we can do that um, privately. So I'm really excited about that new idea, and we'll get that up and running uh, tonight after I get done with all these classes. So I'm going to stop this one, but we're going to start again in just a few minutes for ballet. Okay, thank you.